More breaking updates now coming in a setback for Malia's extradition. The centre there, they're saying that Malia's extradition is not yet processed. Let me go across to our deputy news editor Minakshi for those updates. Minakshi, Malia's extradition that has now run into a roadblock. Can you take us through the big updates now coming in? Well, yeah, that's right, Apura. We are seeing a very important submission come in from the central government uh, before the Supreme Court of India here, where the center is saying that the extradition has run into a roadblock on account of some fresh proceedings uh, which have commenced in the United Kingdom to which the government of India is not a party. So this is a big development coming in in the extradition case of Vijay Malia with this new uh, and absolutely latest ground being put forth by the central government here in the top court, where the government is saying that uh, subsequent to the uh, extradition orders being passed by the UK court, some other proceedings have been initiated in the United Kingdom to which the government of India is not yet a party. So the matter has been deferred to the 2nd of November, Apurva. But in the next hearing, Vijay Malia's counsel has okay. been asked to answer the following three questions by the Supreme Court. Number one, what are the nature of the fresh proceedings initiated in the United Kingdom? Number two, when will it be complete? And number three, when can Malia appear before the Supreme Court of India? So with these three questions posed to the Council of Vijay Malia, uh, the Supreme Court of India has gone ahead and deferred the matter to the 2nd of November. But the big twist here, the central government informing the Supreme Court that there are some uh, fresh proceedings happening in the United Kingdom which the government is not aware of, which the government is not even a party to. Okay. All right, Minakshi, many thanks for joining us and bringing us those breaking updates.